Now, in this tutorial, very quick one, I'm going to show you how we can use generative AI to remove an object in Photoshop without getting the error because there is a subject in the image with nudity. Now, here we have a subject who is not naked, but she has underwear on and there's too much skin for Photoshop to accept this image as it violates their guidelines. So if I try to remove the, the chair here, then using AI, then I will get an error and Photoshop will not come up with the goods. So what I've done is very simply, I've already done it because I don't want to show this image for privacy reasons. But all I did was just create a selection of the offending image. Well, offending in Photoshop standards. And we're going to find this little icon here. These are the adjustment layers. Click solid color. And then you're going to fill that with any color. It does not matter what it is. Now we are going to go to the object we want to remove. And I'm going to include the shadows as well. So I'm not selecting the chair precisely. I'm selecting all of it because I, I want to get rid of all of the shadows. And hopefully, I'm hoping that Photoshop will understand without me having to fill in any prompt. I'm just going to click generative fill. I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to click generate and we'll see if it works and we'll see if Photoshop understands what it is I'm trying to do. Now, bear in mind that if I had not covered up the offending, there we go. Not bad at all. If we look at the, I generally find that the first one is the best one. So let's go in. I'm very happy with that. And I will make some selections and I will possibly clean up a few little things here with the patch tool or with the remove tool. I might even out the coloring, but really we've done it. Now, the great thing is that this would not have happened had we not covered the image. Now, you're probably thinking that's crazy. Photoshop can see underneath these layers. So why is it accepting it if it's covered when the image is still there? All we need to do now to complete our image is just remove these layers and we can continue editing. The reason is I'm assuming that what Photoshop does is that it creates a snapshot of the image as a whole, not all of the layers, because that would require too much processing power and too much internet and uploading, and it doesn't need that. So it takes a snapshot of what it can see from the top layer down and sends that up to the internet for the AI processing. So while your Photoshop on your machine can see under these layers, and we know that we can remove them and that underneath there is the lady standing in her underwear, for the purposes of sending the image to the cloud for AI processing, all we need to do is cover it up temporarily. I hope that helped and I hope this puts an end to the frustrating terms violation error and not being able to use generative fill. If you enjoyed that, please go ahead and subscribe and why not take a look at sarahedmonds.live. Go to the link in the description below and you can see all of these full length tutorials, so many tutorials. This is a private membership and there is a free trial. So go ahead and give it a try. See you soon.